Here we're going to talk about the steps of appositional bone growth. In other words, how bone grows in width or diameter over the course of one's life. First, we have to define some things. We want to look at the bone through a sagittal cut. That means we've cut it in half lengthwise. Remember, the outer layer of compact bone is called the periosteum. The lining of all of the innermost layers of compact bone is called endosteum. The endosteum also lines the spicules and trabeculae, as well as the central canals, as well as the medullary cavity. Okay, now that we get that, let's look at our sagittal cut. Let's zoom in on a little piece of this. We can see that we have the spicules and trabeculae on the inside. We've got the compact bone. And on the outside of that compact bone, we have our periosteum. Our innermost layer, our medullary cavity, is lined with the endosteal surface. The endosteum not only lines the inside of the medullary cavity, but also lines the trabeculae and the spicules. So, the first step in appositional growth is that osteoblasts in the periosteum secrete bone matrix on the external surface of the bone. So here we see our little osteoblasts. They're hanging out in the periosteum. When they're told to do this by hormones present in the body, they'll begin to deposit that bone matrix on the external surface of the bone. We can see that the bone has now grown in width. At the same time, the osteoclasts on the endosteal surface, so that's the inner surface, are going to remove bone. So if we have a trabeculae that's a flat plate and the osteoclasts decide they want to take apart some of that bone, that's where they're going to get it from. So we see that these osteoclasts slowly start to dissolve over the course of time. Our endosteal surfaces decreasing how much bone we have in our innermost surface. You can see that our innermost surface inside our medullary cavity, those little trabeculae, are thinner than they were before. This is the process of how the bone grows thicker.